Hi, my name is Serena Davis. I'm the Director of Corrections and Law Enforcement. This week we started interest arbitration. We'll finish up next week on Wednesday. I wanted to give you a brief update on what's been occurring over the last several days. The state has um, presented a lot of the proposals that we um, said no to and the reason we're in arbitration. One of the things that I wanted to share with you is why they raised those issues and brought them to arbitration. One of the things that they have raised is all of the people using all the memos and sick leave usage. Despite the union and most of you trying to reach out to your employer and talk about um, those members that have been abusing the system, they decided that they didn't want to talk to those members, they've testified to that, because they didn't want them to resign their employment. Instead, what they've decided to do is reset. By that, they've decided that those benefits that you guys have long enjoyed, that they need to take those away from you, so that way you don't have access to them. So their exact words were they wanted to reset your memos so that you only had one, and they wanted to eliminate the comp usage and the amount of comp because they said that you were using the state of Washington as a bank for um, your benefit. Despite the fact that you have enormous amount of mandatory overtime and overtime and the fact that you only get three memos um, to use, they believe that that's an excessive amount and that we need to reduce those banks so that you do not use the employer as the bank and that um, you don't have access to your memos and one was a reasonable amount. So what I need you guys to do in this moment is reach out to Cheryl Strange and Sean Murphy and explain to them how out of touch they are with this membership and explain to them that um, over the last two years during this pandemic that you guys have worked an enormous amount of overtime, that you guys have been busting your tail doing for this um, employer things that they themselves are not doing, that you guys have been working countless hours and that you guys have spent your children's birthdays, holidays in your workplace, making sure that the prison runs the way the prison runs and that you are not banking on this Department of Corrections in the state because your comp banks are at the high because of the amount of overtime that you guys have been required to work. And that those three memos that you get, you need those three memos for your own personal mental health. And it's not about abuse, it's about making sure that you can take care of yourself. And that the employer should retract those egregious things that they've said. The other thing, the sick leave. The reason they want to change Article 16, the sick leave, and eliminate that is because they believe that you've been misusing your sick leave. And so because you're calling in sick to take care of yourself and your children, they want to make sure that when you do come to work and they have to mandatory you, it is at straight time hours. So please, in this moment, take the time to contact Cheryl Strange and Sean Murphy. Thank you for everything you do. I truly appreciate you. And enjoy your long Labor Day weekend. For those of you that are working, thank you for everything you do. Again, take care of yourself.